We're stepping into the Live Line workshop where Stan Honey and Ken Milne deliver to non-sailors an understanding of sailing. They are the brains behind Sport Vision, which brought the 10-yard line to football, and Stan himself is a phenomenal sailor, has won records for racing around the world, and has been named the U.S. Sailor of the Year before. So we're going to see a little bit about how their Live Line technology actually works and what makes it so cool. We're totally interrupting two of the smartest guys in the sailing world. Hi guys, <laughs> we're just going to grab you for 10 minutes, maybe even two minutes. Um, Stan and Ken, you are the minds behind Sport Vision. Can you talk us through what Liveline is and what, what it's meant to essentially understanding sailing for non-sailors? Um, Liveline is a extension of four or five projects that Ken and I and others in the team have done since 94. And all of them involve putting graphics on live video of the real world, but positioning the graphics correctly relative to the real world. All of them have the objective of making important things about sports that are hard to see, easy to see. So a great example is the first down line. Once you've zoomed in and you can't see the chain gang on the side, um, the first down line allows you to continue to see where the first down is and the first down line is the objective of nearly every play and yet it's hard to see. Similarly, um, you know, even the puck. When the old days of standard deaf TV you couldn't see where the puck was or most pitches it's important whether the pitch is going to go through the strike zone or miss and so it was important to show where that is. Well sailing has more of that than any other sport, meaning there's more important things that are hard to see um, than any other sport and so our objective in sailing is to make it so that in a wide view of the um, sailboat race the fact that you can see the boundaries and the fact that you can see the hundred meter lines makes it so that any sports fan who's not yet a sailing fan they look at that field of play with those hundred meter lines and they immediately correctly interpret it um, by analogy to a football field and they get it and then one of the stumbling blocks of sailing which is the fact that the boats are going in different directions and so why in a race would you be going in different directions but that stumbling block vanishes if you can see the pitch the field of play you can see the hundred meter lines and you can immediately understand who's ahead and so what are the implications then for the, the racing management as well because we now have that accurate measurement um, that was a surprising part of the project. We started out where the objective was purely to enhance the TV. But once um, Ian Murray and Mike Martin, the chief umpire, and John Craig, the principal race officer, figured out that we knew where the boats were to two centimeters and we knew where the marks are to two centimeters, they asked us to build systems for them. So John is, uses our data to help position the marks and help figure out how big the course needs to be to take up the right amount of time and then Mike Martin the chief umpire uses our data to umpire the f calls that are based on facts so there's a lot of calls in umpiring that are based on you know subjective judgment did a boat have the opportunity to keep clear but there's other calls in umpiring that are just purely factual I have heard you know people say that you know their kids were changing channels and happened to stumble across the America's Cup and and we're immediately entranced by it. I mean, the first thing that captures the interest is the boats are so unusual and spectacular and the imagery is such high quality and it's such a beautiful venue in San Francisco. So that gets people to watch for a few minutes. And then the goal is for us to be able to communicate the competition within those few minutes. So then they get engaged by, you know, oh, are those guys are catching up. Do you think they're gonna catch them by the finish? And. Um, I think we're being successful.